Hey, so hello and welcome to my channel. Sorry I haven't posted anything in a little while. I've just been really, really busy. Um, but I just thought I would do a quick May wrap up. I know it's a bit late, but um, I read some really, really good books. I did read some pretty bad ones as well, but um, there were some really, really good ones in last month's books. So um, I have read five last month. Um, so I will start with the first one I read, which was Dan Brown, The Lost Symbol. Um, I do love Dan Brown just because his writing is so fast paced, it's fun. Um, and this one was about um, the Masons and um, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. Langdon, Robert Langdon, who's the main character in um, the Da Vinci Code. Uh, he is the main character in this one as well and he is trying to solve um, a puzzle about um, the Masonic Pyramid um, and he gets chased all over Washington DC and it's really really good. Um, there was one bit that I really enjoyed where um, the main character, well, the, the female lead, she works in this um, scientific lab and it's like a big um, pod with her lab like in the middle of it. So it's like massive on the outside. And she um, is all dark in between. It's like almost like a vacuum. So there's no light, there's nothing. And um, the, uh, the evil person in the book chases her at one point and she has to like run into the dark. And it was just so gripping because I just, you did, oh, it, it was like, it was like a movie when you watch like a slasher movie and you get really scared because you don't know where the person is and you know they're going to jump out and it was like that and I don't often get that in a book so I was very impressed with that um but yeah well worth the read I did like it so if you're into Dan Brown it's a big one next one I read was uh This Love another one of my 3 99 from Sainsbury's books um just picked it up because it was there um but it's basically about this girl called Sophie and she lives on her own. I think she was a translator, so she works for herself and doesn't really socialise all that much. Um, lives in this flat and one day there's a, well one night there's a fire and um, she is in the top floor flat and she can't get out. Um, and this guy comes and helps her get out. She has to, I think she jumps. It was quite a while ago that I read it now, it's a good three weeks ago. Um, but I think she jumps and he catches her. And that should be the end of it, but she decide they they sort of keep meeting up and it turns into a bit of a love affair. And then she finds out that oh, I don't want to give too much away, but she finds out that he is not very well. Um, I won't say any more than that. Um but yeah, it's very sad. It's a bit of a tearjerker at the end. It reminded me quite a bit of uh, Me Before You. Um, it was that kind of book. So if you liked that, Jojo Moyes, um, then I would recommend this one. The uh, fourth one I read was The Girls by Emma Klein. Um, I read this um because i picked it up in a charity shop and i had heard a podcast about it um that i'd listened to uh while i was at work and it sounded really good and i was very very impressed um it was about the manson murders i don't know how closely related it i don't know how um historically accurate it was um, because they had different names, it wasn't Char Charlie Manson. I don't, so I don't know whether, I don't know to tell you the truth, but it was really good. I believe it was based on those murders. So um, I, I should actually go on Wikipedia and just look up the Manson murders and just see what actually happened there and see how much like this is, because then I could have commented on it a bit better. But the writing in it was amazing um really really it was very descriptive so sometimes you can get a little bit bored of that kind of writing I find it can sometimes drag on a bit but this was good she it was just so unusual some of the ways she described things and some of the words and it is such a beautiful cover as well I do love this book 
so um, yeah the girls highly recommend it um then I read well I'll go for this one next I, this is the last one I read um a bit of a I wouldn't normally have picked this up because it's not really it's a bit fluffy and mm. but um I I had a bit of a health scare two weeks ago and I ended up having to stay at a spend a night in hospital and I was um freaking out a little bit and um I asked if I could have a book because that makes me always feel better so the nurse brought me this one um so I started reading it and I read half of it while I was in hospital and then I um thought well I've read half of it so I kind of stole it from the hospital um but yeah I finished it last night and it was okay I think it'd probably make a good film but um yeah it, it was just a really easy read but it's basically about these two characters called B and Jake and they've both kind of broken up with their partners they meet at a party um through like mutual friends and family and they make a pact that they're never going to get into a relationship again and surprise surprise they start falling in love and it doesn't work out and um it looks as though it's never going to happen and then um I won't tell you the ending but I think you probably know <laughs> so but yeah but it was it was all right it was good fun um it took my mind off being in a hospital um and then my final one which I've never heard of and I just picked it up from the library so I did have to take it back soon um but it's one of the best books I've read this year I really loved it and it was called Waiting for Doggo by Mark B Mills I've never heard of this writer I've never heard of this book but I picked it up because it's a odd shape it's hardback and um, normally hardbacks are bigger than that so I picked it up just because of that and then I opened it and just under the label I made out a little bit of the description and it says for fans of uh, One Day and One Day by David Nichols is my favourite book ever so I was like oh I'll give that a go it was so good so good it made me laugh oh it was just so funny um but it's basically about this guy called Dan his girlfriend walks out on him um very suddenly um and just before she left she bought this really ugly dog um, and she leaves it with him so he's got to look after this dog um, and it's just about kind of like how their friendship develops and he gets a new job and yeah he he kind of falls for this dog um, but it's, it's not it, it was just really really well done and it was funny and it actually made me laugh out loud in places which you very rarely get in books and I loved it so I would highly recommend this and he does have uh, it says in the front one two three four five other books so I am going to look him up and see if I can find anything else but uh yeah Mark B Mills if any of you have read any of his other books and have got um any comments on it I would love to know because I absolutely loved this um but yeah sorry this was a bit late for may wrap up but as i say i've had a bit of a health problem and um work's been all over the place and bleh. but um yeah hopefully i'll get back on top of things and start making more videos again bye